up beauties welcome back to my channel if you are new then welcome and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also turn on your post notifications that way you will be notified of future videos oh y'all looking like what is she doing on the floor but this is a whole different type of video as you can tell from the title i have been decluttering my house um uh, during this whole time um that we have i've been using my time very wisely i've been real productive uh, of course i'm still working so on the weekends i try to get a lot done y'all and so if some of you all kind of go back towards my older videos i do have a few natural hair care videos that i've um uh, i've been doing but um i stopped doing more i stopped doing those but i have a bunch of those on my ig tv so stop what you're doing right here just pause this go over and follow me on my personal page over at j elise i'm very active on that page i keep y'all entertained and y'all just kind of keep up with me and everything that's going on but like i was saying for today i was cleaning out my closet um i have a whole bunch of stuff and natural hair care products um i am a product junkie um I haven't really done too many videos or got into doing the little hair care, natural hair care community or getting into all of that, but I'm going to start putting more videos out like that. But like I said, over on my IG, I have been doing my IGTV videos. Um, so if you guys want to go over and follow me there, watch those. And if you like them, just let me know and I will start putting the whole tutorial here on YouTube. So without any further ado, let's just jump right on into this video and I'm going to kind of just show y'all exactly which hair care products that I have, but I'm not going to go into detail on what's, what's the best product or this or that. I can do that in a later video, a separate video. If you all just comment down below, I can do that. But I'm just going to kind of just quickly explain to y'all all the products that I have and which ones I like best. And then we're going to go ahead and declutter and clean and organize this closet of mine. All right, y'all. I don't know if this is a good view, but... um yeah i have a million different products as you can see let me kind of turn it around for y'all okay this is all that i have not too much but enough but yeah let's just go on and get into the products that i do have i'll start with john frida i actually was using these here when i was transitioning when i like i said when i first started going natural and i used to always have leave outs this is what i will use here to keep my hair that leave out from frizzing up and the here is just like the little serum little touch up cream and then also these products here anti-humidity like all of these i was using these when i was transitioning so if you all are transitioning these are some good products to use um only when i like i said i was still wearing my weaves though so and these were for my leave out only just these products here and then i have some shea moisture products here i have these here tea tree and mint that there cream of nature cream of nature is by far the best one that i love and i also have this one here with the mask um some more shea moistures detox and refresh african pride love that line as well cream of nature the pure honey line and main choice will have to be my next line that i really love and i would have to say it's this one here y'all curls be popping and then I have um, Tijin. Now this has by far been the best mask that I've used thus far. Um, I haven't used this one yet. This is Shea Moisture, of course. Uh, and this is As I Am. The Coconut Co-Wash. Um, the Curl's Daughter. I do not like it. As you can see, I did get the um, travel size and this made my hair freaking brittle you see it says for dry dull and brittle hair it made my hair really brittle and dry and y'all it was it was terrible so yeah that's a no no for me um i got a lot of on jackie stuff too this is some seal it up um butter right here some curling custard 
deep conditioner. I love this here. This is a um, leave-in conditioner. And then over here, I have some... These are like some curling creams and my styling gels and also my edge controls. Cantu was a product I've started using as well when I first went natural. I really don't use that as much anymore. Um, here's more Aunt Jackie. Um, the main choice, this here. This is actually really good. But when I use this, it gave me a lot of flakes. And I can't even remember what that product I used it with because it was a bad combination and it did not work out really well. This here, I love this here. Shea Moisture. That's the gel there. This here is actually really good too, too. The Eco Cocktail um, Extreme. And I have this one and I have this one. This right here is my favorite. And y'all, this is from Dollar Tree. Then I have this gel here. And then I have a few of uh, edge controls. This is, this is if you have thin edges, this works really well. Um, and also I have like a little gray that I was trying to cover up, y'all. But yeah. <laughs> and this, the Aunt Jackie edge control here. This is the main choice edge control. And I, I also use this a lot too. But yeah, y'all, enough for all of that. And if y'all see these little black things on my floor, that is from my rug. I just moved my rug to put these products down. But these are all my products here. And we're going to try to organize these and get these put into the closet. Oh, and I forgot to show y'all this right here, y'all. This Glam Force. This right here, y'all. I'll use this over my got to be spray when I wear my wig, y'all. Get y'all some of this. I did order this off Amazon. So I've already, like I said, took a lot of stuff out of my closet. So the floor and everything is a mess because I done pulled everything out. Um, so I'm basically going to clean it. And I'm not sure if I'm going to line the contact paper or not. I might, I might not. If you see me do it, then I did it. But, um... I don't know. We're just going to go ahead and jump into this video and get this decluttering together. But if you haven't already, make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. Give your girls a big thumbs up. We're trying to get me to 10K. And let's jump right on into the video. So as y'all can see, this is everything that came out the closet. I still haven't poured that stuff out. That's just basically like my comforters, tissue, and everything. Um, And here... It's like my pain and peroxide and soap and stuff. Then I gotta put my stuff here. And then, of course, up here we have my iron and everything. So I guess we can go on and clean it out and get started. All right, now I am gonna go ahead and line the shelves. And I am gonna line it with this easy liner here, removable adhesive to any type of surface. And I did get this from Walmart. Um, and actually, this is the same paper that I'm actually using, the contact paper that I can do my countertops with, which I do have a video coming up on that. But yeah, this is what I'm using here. So let's get started. Your love is bright as ever. Even in the shadows. Make sure you subscribe. Thumbs up. All right, now this is how it's looking. With the contact paper as you all can see it looks really good i love this this was supposed to win on my countertop but hey this is how it's looking it looks really good um and i only did these last three bottom three shelves i didn't do this top one here it already had something on it but i mean Ain't nobody up there. Can't nobody see up there. Um, they up there looking. They looking too hard. All in my house. But yeah, this is how this is looking. So we're going to go ahead 
and put up these products. Okay, I got most of everything together, but what I have now is a bunch of medicine, y'all. Um, y'all can't really see that. It's, I have kids, of course. I have like iron pills. I got all types. I got all types of medicine. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pretty much kind of hurry up and kind of go through this try to condense some of this down because a lot of this stuff is old as well but y'all get some of this here if y'all let me show y'all this this right here can y'all see it emergency get some of this this is vitamin c y'all and i take this probably like not daily Cause I, I'm not taking a daily vitamin as well, but I take this like three times a week. Get y'all some emergency. But yeah, I'm gonna kind of hurry up and go through this. All type of cough syrup, allergy medicine, fenugreek, y'all. I be on it. I be on it, y'all. Chewable tablets for the emergency. <laughs>
All right, y'all. Now, this was the next morning. As you can see, I didn't got all this stuff. There was some under there. I still kept the tote right there with the comforters and just miscellaneous products. Um, I have the tissue there, which I normally keep in our bathrooms, but um, which I probably end up putting in our bathrooms. We already have some there. That's just the extras, and those are my towels. And I like to fold my towels up, like roll them, the um, big towels. And then also I have the barrette bucket right there. That way the kids can actually access it. That's why I keep it on the low shelf. And then the next shelf I have here is pretty much just like my bathroom stuff, my cleaning products, um, just a lot of miscellaneous items as well. But yeah, that's pretty wanna pretty much it still kind of look a little cluttered, but it is so organized. I'm sorry I didn't get a before picture. But um, just my cotton balls and everything. But this shelf right here was the main shelf that I was worried about. Um, how I organized everything. But I want to be able to still access everything and see it. And I didn't show y'all in the um, beginning. But these here is my, um, it's like a wax paint. I know you all seen a lot of this going around on YouTube. But I have black and I also have blue. I will be doing a blue for my natural hair tutorial soon. But yeah, I think I did a really good job, y'all, because this right here was a struggle. All right, and this shelf here is pretty much where I put my medicine at. I want to kind of keep that on a higher shelf to where the kids can't access it. Um, and also at the top shelf, that's where my bleach, my cleaning products, um, my craft products, my iron, and things of that nature there. But yeah, y'all, this is the finished product, um, finished look, y'all. It really didn't take too long. I just kind of left out and did some stuff yesterday, but it turned out really nice. Let me know what y'all think down below. Um, I mean, it's it's a small space, but you know, this is, I got to work with what I have. Because the whole point of doing this was that way I can be able to see everything that I'm looking for. I don't have to pull things out and search for it. I can just see it as soon as I open the closet. So this is one of my projects. Actually, this is my second project that I took on. And I have plenty more to do. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know if you all would like to see the rest of the projects that I'm going to do around my house. But yeah, see you guys in my next video.